Hi guys, replacing thermostat on this Cascadia DD13, I believe. So first of all, you have to drain the coolant as always. It's right there. We already did it. Then we'll start to unscrew it. You loosen this clamp, then there are four bolts. And that's the new one. So we remove the pipe. We're gonna remove thermostat right now. There are four bolts. It's gonna be a little messy, so make sure you have something under. No matter how much you drain coolant, it's still something inside. That's what I was talking about. So the reason I had a lot of coolant because the thermostat was stuck and I wouldn't let the rest to go. And that's why we drained all the way, but it's still some inside. So here's the new one. I put it on. When you put it on, make sure you guys align the gasket like it's straight and everything so it won't leak. And after it's done, we're also going to do a pressure test. Okay, so we're gonna close it and start refilling it. After that, we're gonna do a pressure test and this should be good. Make sure you guys don't over tie the drain plug. Those are really, you have to be really gentle with them. Okay guys, so we put the coolant, now we're gonna do pressure test, but I wanna show you something. So this is a regular pressure tester. You can buy it, it has a bunch of fittings and stuff, but you can also make your own. Just make sure you watch what you're doing when you put the pressure, don't overdo it. And uh, just put enough so you can see if there are any leaks. Yeah, like that. Okay, so we did the pressure test. Everything is good, no leaks. And that's, that's pretty much is done. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like. And if you want more videos like that, subscribe. Thank you.